Brothers United in Christ, man, back with more of this word is the Bible. Oh, they just came down, he pulled some scriptures. Yeah, that's the focus that we try to focus on. We don't practice to be a hypocrite. We know there's a lot of people that say everybody's a hypocrite, everybody does this, everybody does the same thing. That's not true. Everybody don't think the same way. Everybody don't do the same things or act the same way. Nobody want to focus on, I'm not, me personally, I don't want to be called a hypocrite, <laughs> you know? So we practice these things to not become a hypocrite. Let me get this Philippians, uh, matter of fact, on that note, because I want to give off, um, I want to pull the scripture. Give me this Philippians, the first chapter real quick. Excuse me. I started from verse uh, uh, um, three. You know? Yeah, no, uh, chapter one, verse three, and we're going to go down to probably 14. Or maybe we're going to go uh, start at verse uh, 8. 1 and 8. Philippians 1 and 8. For the most high is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Yahweh Shai Christ. You know what I mean? I pulled this scripture because some people may got the wrong idea of us. Like we come up here for destruction to just cut people, you know what I mean, just blast people or whatever. So that's far from the case. You know what I mean? We sincerely want people to, you know what I mean, to come get this juice. Come get some wisdom, increase in knowledge and understanding. Come better your life. Come change your life. Repent. <laughs> Return to the heavenly father is what the most high is saying. You know what I mean? Read that verse again. Philippians 1 and 8. For the most high is my record. How greatly I long after you all. You know what I mean? Because he understand all mysteries, all understanding, all, all the imagination and thoughts of man. The most high understand, you know what I mean, our mindset. We're not coming out here to blaspheme, with us, so to speak. We, we long for brothers. This is why we talk about certain brothers. And sisters up here and everything, because we long after you. We want you to get, you know what I mean, two of them come get this juice. Read on. Verse 8, for the most high is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Yahweh Shai Christ. And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. And in all judgment. This is why we're bringing this out. This is why we, you know what I mean, come together. You know what I mean, and several brothers come up with lessons. And then we preach this word. We go line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. You know what I mean? We try to give you the full scope of this gospel so that you can increase in judgment and in wisdom and understanding. Read. Philippians 1 and 9, 1 and 10, that you may approve things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Yahweh Shai Christ. Till the day of Christ so that you can be sincere and without offense because sincerity is a law's art. As I said before, you know what I mean? Sincerity is a lost art. Brothers not practicing becoming um, 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 sincere. They don't want to, you know what I mean? Sincerity is not in their vibration. It's not in their character. It's not in their mind. Brothers is, you know what I mean, so focused on trying to be a hypocrite. That's what it is. Brothers not sincere. But we're bringing this out so that brothers can be sincere, so that you can increase in knowledge and judgment, wisdom, and understanding. Read. This is Philippians 1 and 11, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Yahweh Shai Christ unto the glory and praise of the Most High. But I, I would, you should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. You know what I mean? Paul's saying that the things that happened to him, him getting beaten thrice, you know what I mean? Him getting, you know what I mean, shipwrecked, getting stoned or whatever like that. A lot of tribulate pearls is going on in his brother's life. Paul. But he said, all this is happening, you know what I mean, for, for the furtherance of the gospel. This stuff have to happen, you know what I mean, so that the gospel can still have some fruit in it. Read. Philippians 1 and 13. So that my bonds in Christ are manifest in all the palace and in all other places. And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident by my bounds are much more bold to speak the word. Without fear. Without fear. That's what we're here to do. Come speak this word boldly without fear. That's what it is. And we got brothers, you know what I mean, bold brothers, Peter, Paul, Luke, you know what I mean? All these brothers was bold in this word. And then, you know what I mean, things happened to them for the furtherance of the gospel so that now on this time, in this, you know what I mean, this, this light, this time right here, so that we can have some type of um, confidence, so that we can wax bold and speak this word without fear. Get, get, get me this Isaiah 5 real quick. Get, get my line upon line, 2nd Ezra 9 chapter. We still working in 2nd Ezra the ninth chapter. We left off at verse um, 
21 and 22. We're going to continue on that, 21 and 22. We was talking about the grape in the Most High, the plant. You know what I mean? The plant of the Lord. The Most High is a grape. The Most High got a, you know what I mean? The Lord I made earth. I was just talking to an Edomite yesterday. <laughs> Ask him if he believed the Bible. Do you believe the certain things that's in the Bible? You know what I mean? He said, you know, I am don't that the, lead, uh, that the earth. Um, you know, the um, age of the earth is 6,000 years old. Because for a second, he thought that the earth was made in six days. He thought six actual days until I told him that a day to the Lord is a thousand years. And a thousand years is a day to the Lord. Got two different time frequencies. Yeah, he made the earth is 6,000 years. You know, the earth don't, you know, I mean, the age of the earth is not 6,000 years. But I just bring this up because there's a confusion on the Bible and the earth. And, you know what I mean, and what's going on with the world. You know what I mean? The Lord gave you a blueprint. He got questions that he's asked you along with he give you answers in the Bible. The most I tell you what's going on in this earth and what is he, you know, you know, what has happened and what's going to happen with the world that he made. Now, the Lord, I said that I am made the earth and, you know what I mean, they went off. That's why I ain't spared the old world. That's, that's why I flooded it. Read this real quick. 921. Read it. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 21. Uh -huh. And I saw and spared it greatly. Start with 20. Start. This is verse 20. Uh -huh. So I considered the world uh -huh. and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were coming to it. Uh -huh. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. This is why I'm bringing this up because the same Jewish man who I'm talking to, Edomite, um, he was fascinated with my name. His wife came home or whatever. He mentioned my name to his, um, to his wife. He said that I got a Hebraic name. <laughs> and then she asked me, you know, in a sense, what's my faith? I said that I profess myself to be a Hebrew Israelite. I, be I believe I'm, the <laughs> I'm a Jew. Jew is just, you know, short for, you know, Jew come from Judah. Wanted the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, but people don't understand that the seed or the blessed seed, give me, give me this Isaiah 61 real quick, I think. You know what I mean? That the Lord, you know what I mean, still got this, you know, have the children of Israel still in this earth today, still inhabited. Why? Why? Because the Lord, I said that I kept me, you know what I mean? I, I kept the grape for myself. I spared it. Read this verse again. Who is this grape? Read. Second Ezra chapter 9. Verse 22, uh -huh. let the multitude perish then, right. which was born in vain. Let the multitude perish then that was born in vain. Just like the elder came down, and which we're going to edify sort of thing. We don't have no beef with the so-called white man. We don't got no anger, you know what I mean, no hatred toward them. That's, you know what I mean, it is what it is. The most I established a certain race and nationality in the end of this earth to strictly just correct us. This is what it is. This is correction. Us going through what we went through, transatlantic slave trade, even until 2023 right now. According to our oppression, this was all ordained from the most high power. It's for our correction so that we could get right before the hammer come down. Because the Lord said that he's not going to make an end of all na um, I'm, I'm a, of us. Give, give me this Jeremiah 31 real quick. Read. I'm at 30. Um, bless seed. Right here. Uh, we start from verse 6. Now, uh, where is it at? We'll start from 7. It says Isaiah 61 to 7. Uh -huh. For your shame, you shall have double. Uh -huh. And for your confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Right. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double everlasting joy right. shall be unto them. For I, the Lord, love judgment. Right. I hate robbery for a burnt offering. Uh -huh. And I will direct their work in truth. I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Talk about the nation of Israel. Because the Lord has said that we're going to be, you know, I mean, you know, um, man's days can be numbered, but the days of Israel is innumerable. You know what I mean? The Lord is going to save us with an everlasting salvation. This is what it is. This is the promise that he gave to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Most I said that he will always keep us in the earth, and that we will inherit the land, because that's rightly ours. Read it. Read it. It says Isaiah 61 and 9. And their seed, excuse me. Yeah, 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people, all that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. And that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. This is what I want to say, that, you know what I mean, their seed is going to be amazing among the Gentiles. And then everybody's going to acknowledge that this is the seed that the Most High hath blessed. Talking about the nation of Israel. Give me this Isaiah real quick. I'm at Jeremiah 30.
This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 11. Uh -huh. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, right. to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, right. whether I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. This is why we still getting, you know, punished now, plagued, and we're like, you know what I mean, oppressed, shot down, killed, and we're like that, because the Lord said that he's not going to leave us unpunished. But he going to make an end of all nations, but he'll never make an end of us. Go back to Ezra real quick and read 20, um, 22 again. Read that verse again. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 21. 22. Verse 22. Uh -huh. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. Uh -huh. and let my grape be kept in my plant. Right. For with great labor have I made it perfect. For with great labor have I made it perfect. Give me this wisdom of Solomon real quick, 24. Um, and start from the top. And you're older what? Isaiah 5. Isaiah 5, yes. Start that from the top real quick. Because the grapes, we break it down, what is this grape? Because the Lord has said, let the multitude perish that was born in vain. But let the grape, and, you know what I mean, and, and my plant, let them be kept. Because I... Because with great labor have I made it perfect. Read this. You done with the 61, right? Isaiah 5 and 1. Now I will sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved hath a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. And it brought forth wild grapes. I brought this out last week, and I want to go back into it. You know what I mean? Because the most I said that I got an expectation that it wasn't met. Most I said, with great labor have I made this vineyard perfect. You know what I mean? I put a wine press temple in it and everything. I blessed it. This is the blessed seed. I blessed it and everything. How come when I look for it that it should bring forth grapes, it brought forth wild grapes? You know what I mean? Last week, you know what I mean? Just like we was edifying last week, man, the Lord gave us rules, a whole government and the body that we were supposed to uphold, you know, and we became, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, the fools of the earth, because we wanted to follow after the fool. I'm sorry, the foolish. And the Lord, I said, you know what I mean, how come when I look for grapes, it brought forth wild grapes? You know what I mean? Just like today, we used to have men that was all about households, trying to build up their families. You know what I mean? They marry a woman. They were sincere to their wife. They pop little children out and everything. Now they're raising up a household. Now today, we got households like Dwayne Wade's house. <laughs> Wild grapes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wild grapes. How do we get the, you know, how do we get from this to that? I forgot what award, award. They gave us some kind of award. I forgot if it was an SP or a BET award or something like that. For what? I don't, know. I don't know. He turned his son out. You know, wild great. Lord, I said that, you know what I mean? His son made himself vile, man. Brother, I made himself vile. Now, he wants us to legally call him a woman day. This is what I'm talking about. Wild grace. We, we um, used to have a whole bunch of straight men, heterosexual men and everything. And now, it's, you know what I mean? Some sodomites going on. You know what I mean? It's, it's wild grace. It's wild in here. You know, and everything. Give me this. Uh, you're holding what? 24. I'm, I'm sorry. Ecclesiastes 24. Um, real quick. You hold what? Isaiah. Isaiah. Hold that, Isaiah. You give me this um, Jeremiah 2 real quick from the top. You know? Man, we used to, you know what I mean, have these beautiful things. But it's the most high that set us up. He set us up. We ain't get this from our own, um, you know what I mean, our own stuff. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 24. And I want Psalms 44. 2 on 1? Yeah, 2 on 1 real quick. Jeremiah 2 on 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousals. He said, I remember thee, man, the kindness of thy youth. We, we pay attention to our youth today, you know what I mean? They raising up against parents, man. Most I said, man, I remember the kindness of the youth. You know what I mean? Our little boys and our girls, you know what I mean, was all having fun, joyful and everything. Now we got children today suffering. And it's most of our children that suffer because, you know, because we play, because we turn our backs from the heavenly father. Read on. Jeremiah 2 and 2. But the Lord said, I remember that stuff. I remember, read. Jeremiah 2 and 2. Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, and the love of thine espousals. And the love of thine espousals. I remember the love of thine espousals. Now, we, you know what I mean? We um, used to have honor, 
honorable marriages. Now we got certain, you know, now we got how <laughs> marriages today, like, again, as I said, Dwayne Wade, this woman, Gabriel Union, you got, uh, uh, um, how about, how about, let's, um, let's, let's go with the young boys. How about, um, um, Blueface and his woman, <laughs> Chris Shaw. Most I said, I remember the love of thine espousals. You know what I mean? You know, marriages used to be honorable, but now we got these type of marriages. People want to get, you know what I mean, for what? <laughs> you know, who want a woman like that? Who want a man like that? You know, I'm carnal people. You know what I mean? A dishonorable marriage. <laughs> these are the wild grapes. You know what I mean? The Lord, I said, yeah, man, I built this stuff and everything. I, I expected a, you know, a grape. I got a wild grape. I got a strange vine unto me. Read it. I don't know if they locked them up. There's speculation that they done, they broke her or whatever. It's like she was pregnant. The speculation that she had an abortion, bro. <laughs> Read. But that's the way it is country. People gonna go and they're gonna do what the country allowed them to do. America said kill the baby, you can kill the baby. <laughs> but but sisters don't want to take the title of becoming a murderer though. But that's what it is. You know what I mean? This is why, listen, man, the most I said, man, I put you two together to seek you out a parley seed. That's why y'all together to have, you know what I mean, some righteous babies. You're not supposed to, you know what I mean, have a, you know what I mean, have a marriage and we're like that. Y'all get pregnant and now y'all killed the baby. That's a problem, right? He said, I remember the love of thine espousals. Brothers used to, you know what I mean, shoot for a woman and everything. Is You know what I mean? That's all they had in the head. Brothers, you know, woke up, me personally, I woke up every day seeing my parents. So that's what I wanted. When I got older, I wanted a marriage. I wanted a wife. I want family and everything. I didn't want to grow up to be a little whoremonger, a little fornicator in the flesh, a little devil. You know, I'm mean, a little fornicator in the flesh. I can't stop. Nick Cannon. Wild grapes. <laughs> Wild grapes. Read. Thus saith the Lord, I remember thee in the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousals, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness. When we went after the most high in the wilderness. In a land that was not sown. Israel was holiness unto the Lord. Israel was holiness unto the Lord, but what? And the first fruits of his increase. All that devour him shall offend. Why? Go back to Isaiah real quick. And read on from where you are. I think it's uh, 3 and 4. Read 3 and 4 real quick. Isaiah 5, 3 and 4. Isaiah 5 and 3. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, between me and my vineyard. What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, it brought forth wild grapes. How come, you, know, you know what I mean? How come it brought forth wild grapes? Read on, five. How come, you know what I mean? How come these things happen? How did this happen? Read. Five. And now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be eaten up. And break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. And it shall be trodden down. This is why, the, you know what I mean? This is why the most, uh, you know what I mean, okay, um, oppression. This is why the most okay, you know what I mean, the cops, you know what I mean, to kill us. This, you know what I mean, this is why the woman was raped. Our woman was raped. This is why the children got ripped up and everything, you know what I mean? Because we turn our backs on the heavenly father. You give me this Isaiah 24 real quick. I'm sorry. Ecclesiastes 24 from the top. Because the Lord has said, you know, I have kept me a, um, honorable people, read. It says Ecclesiasticus chapter 24, verse 1. Uh -huh. Wisdom shall praise herself uh -huh. and shall glory in the midst of her people. Glory in the midst of her people. Real quick, um, hold that Isaiah. Drop everything else. You'll give me Ecclesiasticus 3.28. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. Right. This talk about the spirit of wisdom. The elder is breaking down. Genesis 1, that light. Let there be light. This, you know what I mean? This was um, the spirit of wisdom. This was Christ in the beginning. Now the spirit of wisdom right now, she's speaking right now in first person. Read on. I came out of the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth as a cloud. Covered the whole earth. Right? I dwelt in high places and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. I alone compassed the circuit of heaven and walked in the bottom of the deep. In the waves of the sea and in all the earth, and in every people and nation, I got a possession. And in every people, you know what I mean? Read this again for this people, you know, before the congregation. Because, you know what I mean? Brothers don't, you know, brothers underestimate the wisdom of the Most High Power. The Most High made, he stretched out the heavens by his discretion and by wisdom. He made, made the entire earth by wisdom. And now wisdom is declaring, yeah, man, I got a possession in the sea, the earth, and everything. And in every people. 
in every nation. This is why the most I said, my uncorruptible spirit is, is in all things, even in the Gentile. You know what I mean? Because the Lord, I made all things for himself. Read. Right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter 24, verse, verse 7. No, this is Ecclesiastes 24 and 6. In the ways of the sea and in all the earth and in every people and nation, I got a possession. I got a possession. Read all. With all these I sought rest, and in whose inheritance shall I abide? Now the spirit of wisdom is asking the question, with all these I sought rest, where am I going to, you know what I mean, reside? You know what I mean, be with what, 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 um, what part of the creation am I going to reside with? Read on, read. So the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he that made me caused my tabernacle to rest, and said, let thy dwelling be in Jacob. And thine inheritance in Israel. Let thy dwelling. This is what the most high told the spirit of wisdom. Let thy inheritance be in Jacob. Let thy dwelling be in Israel. This is what it is. The most high, you know what I mean? He said that he kept me a, you know what I mean, a cluster of a great of a um, um you know, grape of an honorable people. This is what the most high said about us, so-called blacks, West Indians, and Hispanics. We are an honorable people. The most high call us that. Here in America, we, we just niggas and spicks. We just African Americans, black. Nothing. You know what I mean? These terms, you know what I mean, mean nothing. You know what I mean? Got no light to it. Got no substance to it. But the nation of Israel, you know what I mean? This name right here got weight. This name got weight. Most High gave us, you know what I mean, the spirit of wisdom to come dwell with us as a people. That's what made us honorable. It wasn't no, you know what I mean, no basketball. It wasn't no singing. I remember Edomite, I said, yeah, I um, do believe that the children of Israel, you know what I mean, is the African Americans black because they're the only ones that sing like angels. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's not what, <laughs> but that's not what make us, you know, honorable singing, dancing because we, we could jump high or maybe run a four two in a dash, you know, and stuff and everything. That's not what make us honorable. Wisdom is what made us honorable. That's what got us on in this earth. Read that again. So the Creator of all things gave me a commandment, uh -huh. and He that made me caused my tabernacle to rest, right. and said, "Let thy dwelling be in Jacob, right. and thine inheritance in Israel." Read. He created me from the beginning, uh -huh. before the world, and I shall never fail. This is what the brother is bringing out in Genesis 1, read. Wisdom was created before the earth, read. In the whole tabernacle I served before him, and so was I established in Zion. Uh -huh. Likewise, in the beloved city he gave me rest, right. and in Jerusalem was my power. And in Jerusalem was my power, read on And I took root in an honorable people, even in the portion of the Lord's inheritance. He said, I took root. And an honorable people. Give me this um, Proverbs 28 and 1 real quick. Nah, Proverbs 29 and 1. Over here real, real quick, 328. Wisdom was rooted in us as a people. This is what it is. Now today, <laughs> brothers don't got the root of wisdom in them. They produce you know, another type of fruit. That's why the Lord has said, how has thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine? Now you produce some wild fruit, some wild grapes. How so? Why? Why? Because the spirit, because wisdom is not rooted in us. But what's, what's rooted? Read. Ecclesiasticus 3 and 28. Uh -huh. In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. A brother, I brought out the example of um, Maccabees. What his name is? Antiochus Epiphanes, you know what I mean? How I mean, he he had went too far. He went too far. Had you know what I mean? Had all type of bowels, you know, problems and everything. It was an incurable, invisible plague that the Most High plagued him with. But also because <laughs> he was proud. He was you know bragging. He was you know prideful. You know what I mean? He got no you know you know some prideful wrath and think that you're gonna get you know healing or get a play or get a, you know what I mean a pass. The Most High said that in the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. This is why, you know what I mean, the hammer comes down on people the way how it is, because people is proud. They pride. They have a pride month in America. Read this real quick. Ecclesiasticus 3 and 28. In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. For the plant of wickedness have taken root in him. Because the plant of wickedness have taken root in him. But over here, Menomosa has said to wisdom, let thy dwelling be in Jacob. And wisdom said, yeah, man, I took root in an honorable people. But today, even within Israel, people popping up with, with this plant of wickedness rooted in them. They don't got the spirit of wisdom rooted in them. They got the plant of wickedness. That's why people do wicked things. And they don't care about it. <laughs> and they take, you know what I mean, just taking licks after licks because they're hypocrites. Hypocrites, you know what I mean, and heart going to heap up wrath. Read this real quick. 
Ecclesiasticus 3 and 29, 28. In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy, for the plant of wickedness had taken root in him. For the plant of wickedness have taken root in him. Give me this, um, Hosea 10 and 1 real quick. Read this real quick. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 1. He that being often reproved, hardened his neck. He that often, I mean, he that being often reproved, hardened his neck. Meaning, if you know a brother or a sister, and you being the strong one and spiritual, that my brother over here, he's going off, you may say something to him because you love him. You long after him. You want him to be right. You want her to be right. That's why you're saying something. But every time you say so, he keep, you know what I mean, he keep hard in his neck. He, he don't want to hear it, really. He may come to you for some answers, but then the answer you gave him, he don't like it. He ain't taking it. He that often, but you know, but often he do this. You know what I mean? Because he keeps saying it. He keep doing the wrong thing. So, you know, somebody got to constantly keep saying something. But why, though? Read this real quick. Did everybody say that's true, but some people stop saying it. Everybody has sinned. Some people stop sinning. This is Proverbs chapter 29. This one of the days that you got to stop sinning, sis. Proverbs, <laughs> Proverbs chapter 29. Verse well, well, don't talk if you don't want nobody to talk to you. Proverbs chapter 29, Three. verse 1. Oh. He that being often reproved, right. hardening his neck, right. shall suddenly be destroyed, uh -huh. and that without remedy. And that without remedy. Why? Because the plant of wickedness have taken root. Even his sisters got the plant of wickedness root in his sisters. Wicked. Just look what, what you just um just um share this, you know what I mean? Our father called about Andrew Wiggins, right? Andrew Wiggins. That's a good <laughs> And she don't really care, you know what I mean? Because if they are married, <laughs> if they are married and they get a divorce, she getting that money. She can't get no child support because the baby ain't, you know, his. You know, from him or whatever. But you know, sisters got this plant of wickedness in them too. How you know what I mean? How do you, you know what I mean? <laughs> give birth to two children lied to the brother you know what I mean how to believe that he the father the whole time and you can't convince me that that's a wicked woman I'm, I'm, I'm sorry not an evil woman the play, you know what I mean the proud but brothers got you know what I mean but that's the punishment of the Bible you know what I mean the Lord ain't always gonna have you you know what I mean gunned down hit by a car or like that whatever he gonna make your woman turn out to be a whore <laughs> he gonna make your woman a whore Probably for two years, I have two babies for you. You know what I mean? Some wickedness going on. Read this again. But this is why people don't, you know what I mean? This is why you get punished with no, with, you know what I mean? With, with, with no pass, with no remedy, get no healing. Read. This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 1. Uh -huh. He that being often reproved, hardened his neck. He said, I know, I know. I know I'm supposed to be doing this. I know. <laughs> he may even shoot you down one or two, you know what I mean, twice. He might shoot you down all the time. You know this brother has this for years. You keep correcting him because you love him. But, you know, but he don't love the heavenly father. What you going to do for that? So now when the punishment comes to this brother or sister, you can't do anything. There's no remedy for that because he keep hardening his neck. And most of the time, I speak twice. You're still not perceiving it. Read this. He that being often reproved, hardening his neck, uh -huh. shall suddenly be destroyed. Uh -huh. And that without remedy. That without remedy. You get no remedy because the plant of wickedness have taken root. But brothers could change it around. All you got to do is just read the Bible, come follow the Bible, and then you can have wisdom root in you, rooted in you. Have Christ dwell in you. And then produce some righteous fruit. Otherwise, you're going to be like this. 10 and 1 real quick. Hosea 10 and 1. Hosea 10 and 1. Israel is an empty vine. He bringeth forth he bringeth forth fruit unto himself. He bringeth forth fruit unto himself. Israel is an empty vine. He bringeth forth fruit unto himself. This is what it is. Everybody want to, you know, act like that. They're doing the right stuff, but you're producing the wrong stuff. You're doing the wrong works. And then it's all to yourself because you're selfish. You know what I mean? Because you're not thinking about the heavenly father. You're just thinking about yourself. You, you're not thinking about the Lord's Sabbath day. You're thinking about your next uh, uh, um, get high or maybe your next pleasure. Or maybe, your, you know, or maybe that check. This is the Lord's Sabbath day. But brothers, you know what I mean, don't want to hear this because why? Because the plant of wickedness have been rooted in them. Brothers, is wicked because they wicked from the inside out. <laughs> it's not sincerity. Read this. Hosea 10 and 1, Israel is an empty vine. He bringeth forth fruit unto himself according to the multitude of his fruit. 
he hath increased the altars according to the goodness of his land. They have made goodly images. Their heart is divided. Hold on, hold on. They, they have made goodly images. I read this post today and said, yo, um, where's that at? I forgot what town, it, um, I mean, what um, country it is and what like that. But the guy would say, yo, we, we had all these voodoo idols, idols, you know what I mean, the white Jesus idol and everything. But now these people, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, Haiti, there we go. Haiti, yeah, and everything. And now they brought this, you know what I mean, the next idol. It showed the black, you know what I mean, the black Christ. That I U I C in the majority and everything. Now they brought the next. Yeah, man, you goodly images. Now brothers want to justify it because they said we're not bowing down and serving it, but you're making a depiction of the heavenly Father. You know what I mean? Of what? I'm sorry, of Christ. <laughs> you know, that's an image. Well, you know what I mean? But the Lord, I said, I got something for these goodly images. Read on, read. Hosea, ten and two. Uh -huh. Their heart is divided. Uh -huh. Now. Now shall they be found faulty. There we go. Your heart is divided. Therefore, thou shalt be found faulty. That's why you got, you know what I mean? That's why you get caught off for your hypocrisy. <laughs> That's why you faulty, because your heart is divided. You got two different, you know what I mean, opinions, two, two different contrary thoughts. I had a brother message me yesterday, old friend, Musa, um, asking me about Kyrie Irving. What's my thoughts of Kyrie Irving? So I said, Kyrie, just like Kanye, just like Amari, Nick Cannon, DC Young Fly, Brandon T. Jackson, Ice T, you know, this, not whatever. All these brothers, are what I, um, I'm sorry, I'm an Ice Cube. All these brothers that profess Israel and everything, I believe that they're still following after the heathen. They still haven't denounced the way, you know what I mean, the lifestyle of the Gentile. How so? Because Kyrie is still playing basketball. He asked me, what's my thought? I think, you know what I mean, he's a hypocrite. That's my opinion. He's a hypocrite. You can't, you know what I mean? So then now, this brother want to ask me, you know, uh, um, um, you see all that Kyrie is doing and everything. He been never at odds with the Muslims. <laughs> he said, you know that, right? <laughs> he talk about because Kyrie start, start talking about the Jews and everything. But then he break up about some Muslim stuff and everything. Now, this my boy, I'm not going to call out his name and everything, but I know him for a very long time. I know this brother, you know what I mean? His heart is divided. Been told him for a long time, put down the Quran. Can't profess to Israel, you know, Israel, you know, and everything. You still holding on to other nationalities, doctrine. And that just because they Abraham seed, it don't make it a pass. Read that verse again. Read it again. Hosea 10 and, 10, 10 and 2. Their heart is divided. Now shall they be found faulty. That's why, you know what I mean? Nine years later, you ain't got no fruit. Most of I said Israel is an empty vine. He bringing fruit unto himself, you know, and everything. You know, that's why your heart is divided, because you don't believe in just this book. You believe in this. Now you want to coincide Kyrie and ask me about Kyrie and everything, and then bring up about some Muslim. Kyrie not serious about anything. He just want to play basketball. Brother asked me about, you know, um, Kyrie. I said, I know he, 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 he was just keeping Ramadan. I think he got some type of chain or tattoo of an unk. He got a four, you know what I mean, a six-point star tatted on his, you know, stuff. And then you talk about some Israel. What do he believe in? What do Kyrie believe in? Is it Islam, Israel, or Pan-Africanism? He divided. His heart is divided. But I said it's for this brother, too, because, you know, because the only reason why that he says something because he believes in, you know, the Quran, too. Which one is it? Read this real quick. Hold that. I'm coming back. 1 Kings 18. Start from 17. 17. This is 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 17. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah... That Ahab said unto him, no. Art thou he that troubleth Israel? I, I don't know why. I love this verse. It makes me laugh each time. This is a wicked brother right here. With the, you know, a plant of wickedness rooted in this brother. It, it, and then he got the nerve to ask a righteous brother, Art thou he that troubleth Israel? <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, it's like, you serious? Read this real quick. And he answered, I have not troubled Israel. But thou in thy father's house, mm -hmm. in that ye have forsaken the commandments right. of the Lord, and thou hast followed Baalim. And thou hast followed, you know what I mean, the devil. That's what it is. Thou, you know what I mean, you troubling Israel. Because he vexed because Elijah said for three years not going to reign in his land. And it happened. Now three years later, he popped up on the scene. And everybody was checking him. Art thou he that troubles Israel? But you the one that give yourself to idolatry. With a woman. His woman was Jezebel. <laughs> How come everybody makes so emphasis on Jezebel, 
She's a Jezebel. She's a Jezebel. We got a lot of brothers that's an Ahab. We got a lot of brothers that's an Ahab. Let they woman control them. They rule their zone. Elder, I put it last week. Woman rule over you. That's why I've been with, with this brother. He moves, you know what I mean, the Lord to jealousy big time. He, you know what I mean, some wickedness going on. Read. This is 1 Kings chapter 18, no. verse 19. Now therefore send and gather to, all, and gather to me all Israel to Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal 450, and the prophets of the, of the groves 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. So, ah so Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. Uh -huh. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, how long halt ye be between two opinions? How long halt ye between two opinions? How long are you going to have this opinion of this and then this opinion of that and they contrary to each other? It's all going on in your head. This is why the most I said that their heart is divided. Therefore, they going to be found faulty because we got a lot of brothers and sisters that's double-minded. They claim that they believe in everything. I mean, I just shared a post of Sierra and, and you know, and, and, um, you know what I mean, and um, Russ. That's a clear depiction, a clear example of hypocrisy. You know what I mean? Divided. You can't take a picture, act like because you're doing something with Russ, call him a man of God, and y'all take viral pictures of y'all praying, and then years later, you popping up with nothing on, and your man standing there holding you, looking stupid. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you, you know, that, that's why you found faulty. That's why people could raise up today, talk, you know what I mean, call you out for your hypocrisy. Because you confess one thing, but you're really not that. You can't be no dissembler. Read this again. This is 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. Uh -huh. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, right. How long halt ye between two opinions? How long halt ye between, you know what I mean, two opinions? You know what I mean? Some people are, uh, is it the Bible? Is it the Quran? May I follow the Bible or shall I follow the Quran? Shall I follow this? Uh, well, matter of fact, I'm have both. Some brothers, you know what I mean, keep both books. They don't know what to believe in. And then he calls himself spiritual. I'm spiritual. I'm universal. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got all books. I remember a brother over here said, yeah, my, yeah, my, I read all books. <laughs> you know what I mean? Their heart is divided, man. Their heart is divided. Therefore, they, you know what I mean, going to be found faulty. That's why you don't got no fruit toward the most high power. That's why you are an empty vine. Wow, great. Read this again. Um, read it. This is 1 Kings chapter, eight, chapter 18, verse 21. Uh -huh. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be the Most High, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. And the people answered him not a word. They didn't say anything. They didn't say anything at all. Why? Because they, you know, be caught up in two opinions. They ain't know what to answer. They don't know what to do. They confused. That's darkness right there. They confused. You could talk to somebody and they, you know, start talking about the Bible. And, you know, I mean, nice conversation. And then you start putting out some points. That may be talking about their lives indirectly. Or maybe, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It don't matter. But then you start to notice that they start quiet. You know what I mean? Start being quiet. Start not to answer. Because <laughs> their mind is divided. They don't know what to do or to choose or anything. They answer, you know what I mean? Elijah said, flat out, if the most high be the power to follow him, if Baal be the, you know, to follow him, you can't do both. Now, my answer for Kyrie. If you confess yourself to be a Jew or Israel and everything, you can't be playing basketball still. He's not concerned about Israel. That's why I'm saying Kanye went, went back to marrying Gentiles. <laughs> Kyrie, Kyrie went back to play basketball. Amari Steinemar still played basketball. Brandon T. Jackson went back to comedy. You know what I mean? All these brothers are still professing the way of the Gentiles. That's why they fought him. If the most high be the part, then follow him. If not, then keep running your race. But you can't do both. Otherwise, the most are going to raise up somebody and we're going to spit you out. We're going to find you faulty. Read this again. Over here, Hosea. Drop that. Hosea 10 and 2. Uh -huh. Their heart is divided. Uh -huh. Now shall they be found faulty. Right. He shall break down their altars. Right. He shall spoil their images. He shall spoil their images. Give me Jeremiah 12 real quick. Give me um, Romans 13 and 1 real quick. Uh, 12, I'll show you. Sorry. Yo, right here. Started from 10. Yep. This is Jeremiah 12 and 10. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have trotted down my portion underfoot. They have made thy pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. Desolate, you know what I mean? Because we are the most high's pleasant. We know I me. Mean? We are the most high's plant. He said, let this plant be kept. That's why the most high said, therefore, ye sons of Jacob is not consumed. 
That's why we're still here in 2023, the Israelites. Still, you know what I mean? Because the Most High said, I'm a, listen, he made promises. The Lord is not the man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. You know what I mean? The Lord said that he, you know, hath he said, and shall we not do? The Most High said, I'm going to raise you back up. I'm going to put my spirit back in the earth, and y'all going to preach for me. Cause, because I made you for myself. You know what I mean? To show forth my praise. Read it. Jeremiah 12 and 11. They have, they have made it desolate. Right. They. Talking about the pastors. This is why I'm saying you can't blame the so-called white man. You can't blame the African for selling us to the so-called white man. You, you can't blame the Ishmaelite, the Arab, you know what I mean, who I'm so that you can't blame them. It was our own priest. It was our own pastors. Most of us said many pastors destroyed my vineyard because I gave them laws and rules and everything. They screwed it up. Read. Jeremiah 12 and 11. Uh -huh. They have made it desolate. Uh -huh. And being desolate, it mourneth unto me. Right. The whole land is made desolate. Uh -huh. Because no man layeth it to heart. No man's really, you know what I mean, really considered. My father tell me this all the time about myself, and it's true. If it's not on the forefront of my mind, man, I'm not really thinking about it. You know what I mean? I'm not really, you know what I mean? You know, yeah, man, it's easy to just slip up out of my mind. Because I'm not laying it to my head. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm not focusing. Brothers, you know what I mean, not really considering this stuff. They're not laying this in their head. Read. They're not laying this in their head. Watch. Read. The spoilers are come upon all high places uh -huh. through the wilderness. For the sword of the Lord shall devour from one end of the land, even to the other end of the land. No flesh shall have peace. No flesh. He, he said the Lord swore. Romans 13 real quick. Isaiah 42 real quick. 13. He, he, he has said the Lord um, um, swore is going to devour the whole land. Now we want to, you know, I mean, edify why does this sword? Read. This is Romans chapter 13 verse 1. Uh -huh. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Uh -huh. For there is no power but of the Most High. Uh -huh. The power that be are ordained of the Most High. Uh -huh. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of the Most High. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror uh -huh. to good works, uh -huh. but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. Right. For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. Right. But if thou do that which is evil, be, a, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. Uh -huh. For he is a, the minister of the Most High, a revenger to execute the wrath upon him that doeth evil. And a revenger to execute wrath upon them that doeth evil. That's why we want to keep ourselves out of evil. So that, you know what I mean, because the Most High put a, you know I mean, a ruler over us to terrorize us, to correct us. And he not bearing the sword in vain. This is what it means by the sword going to come through the whole entire land. The Most High made, he said, man, listen, man, I'm, I'm going to break down the hedges. And my vineyard going to be eaten up by these wild beasts. The wild beasts is referencing the Gentiles, the heathen that came and crashed our land. It started with the Babylonians, the Chaldeans. Read this real quick. Habakkuk 1, sorry. 42. Isaiah 42 and 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them sneered. Everybody say that. Everybody say that about the so-called blacks. You know what I mean? Where people rob, robbed us, they keep robbing us, they spoiled us. We are the people spoiled and robbed and everything. Now we ain't holes and heads. Yeah, because we in a system that we can't, you know what I mean? Listen, everybody talk about fix the system. People say that the system was made that way. If, you know what I mean? This was designed to keep a certain race and people down. This wouldn't be by the holes. You know what I mean? We, 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 we robbed and spoiled, and, you know what I mean, the holes. We trap. Isaiah 42 and 22. Uh -huh. But this people is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. And that's our lifestyle now. We prison house. No, but people, we inmates. <laughs> Most population in the jails and the prison and everything, that's our people. Read. They are for a prey and none delivereth. And not, they are for a prey and none delivereth. For a spoil and none saith restore. And none saith restore. They still ain't bring us back to our you know, homeland. They... They kept us here, they're using us, and now they're exploiting us. Now that you know what I mean, that's what it is. Nobody said, you know what I mean, restore, give back. They got certain states right now talking about reparation, trying to pay back, but it's not going to happen as a whole. It's not our land. It's not our rest. Read. Isaiah 42 and 23, who among you will give ear to this? Who going to give ear? Everybody got ears, right? Who going to listen and then understand? Read. Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Time to come because there's a time coming and everything where people are gonna have no clue and no answers to what's happening, right? Who gave Jacob for a spoil? Who gave Jacob to a spoil? Everybody talking about, you know, I mean, 
Who's Jacob? On the right side, that's our slave names. On the left side, that's our biblical names. We are the children of Israel. But who gave us to a spoil? These are all slave lands. Who gave us to a spoil? Read. Who gave Jacob unto a spoil? And Israel to the robbers. Israel to the robbers. Read. Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned. For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. I mean, that's what it is. It's not because of the so-called white man, you know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? Because he was just smarter than us and like that. Because we sinned against the heavenly father. That's why we was given up to the robbers, to the spoilers, you know what I mean? To be oppressed, lynched, and killed, and murdered, and stuff. Even until 2023. Because we sinned against our heavenly father. But people don't understand that, right? Isaiah 42, 25. Therefore he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle. And it has set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not, and it burned him. Yet he laid it not to heart. He ain't lay it to heart. The brother's not really considering this stuff because they're not sincere. They're not focusing on the right stuff. They're too complacent with the wicked, with the, you know what I mean, the um, evil stuff, the carnal stuff. But we got to come back to the Heavenly Father so that we can produce righteous fruit. And with that, brothers united in Christ, shalom.